Oh, okay. Video on a video. Um, so today we're going to show you how to set up a envelope file uh, with a mail merge, uh, meaning uh, that you want to send one generic uh, return address part of the envelope and you want to send us a spreadsheet, which then we can impose all the addresses on. So fairly simple process. We're going to do today is we're going to do a um, A7 envelope, which is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So the first thing you do, you're going to get into Canva and you're going to go create design. In this case, we want to start with the size being correct, and then we're going to add a template. So first thing you do is you're going to go custom size, and we're going to go 7.25 by 5.25. Now, whatever your measurement is, you can do that here. Make sure that you switched it from pixels to inches, because uh, that's the unit of measurement we're going to print in. And if we don't design it the right size, we'll have problems down the road. So seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. Create new design. Now. Uh, again, so the goal here is to create an envelope uh, uh, that we can then add the addresses to. So first thing you're going to do, Canva is really good because it's got so many templates. Um, so again, you're going to go, not again, first time, you're going to go to design and you're going to type in the template section envelope and see what comes up. Uh, perfect. And you got all these great designs. So there's that one, there's this one, replace current page. Whatever it may be. So let's go with um oh, I have a tough time deciding. But um let's go with this one. This one's kinda cool. Uh no, I like this one. No, I don't like that one. That one's kinda boring. You can see how many they are, you can spend all your time doing this. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. So um this is the right size and it's got the return address here. This is a little bit inside the left for Campos, so maybe you want to uh, bring this in uh, a bit, bring these over, and we're going to go um, Jack and Diane wedding. Uh, we'll shrink the size down, bring this up. This address is good. We'll go Anywhere Street, Calgary, Alberta. And of course, uh, if you haven't been in Canva, you can change all these things. I'd recommend maybe going with a white background. And uh, I don't know. Do you like that thing? Let's put it over there. Bring this into the corner. And you got the address. You're good to go. So now you have, that's it. You have, you have the generic part of the file uh, that you can use for your printing. So now you're going to do is you're going to download this as a PDF print file. Crop, uh, you don't need crop marks and bleed on this one. CMYK, uh, I should always download with that. So now we have our file. Then we're going to go into um, Excel or Google Sheets. So uh, in this case, I'm going to go to Google Sheets. And we're going to start with a blank template. And this is going to be really easy. You're going to put in all the information um, that you would have on a mail out. So you're going to have a uh, first name, last name, city, province, postal code. Uh, what else is on the envelope here? I think that's it. So you would go in through here and then you would, uh, uh, Brian and Brianna. Uh, Swanson. Now the key is you, you don't want to merge these cells. Uh, you want to make sure that all the first names are separate, all the last names are separate, all the cities are separate, and uh, and the postal codes are separate. Because what will happen is we can take this and uh, you're going to have you know all your names here. So the list will look like this at the end. You'll download this spreadsheet and you'll include this with your order. Uh, so we'll go... Um, spreadsheet for Jack and Diane. Okay, so let's download the Excel file. Okay. And we'll go, we had not, so now we have the Excel file and we have our print file. So with those two things, we'll simply go to the envelopes page on the website. We'll flip it to the A7 envelope, which is what we designed with. You're going to select color printing on the envelope. You could go black and white as well. You can print on the front only. 
And then the, because we're doing the mail merge, you're going to turn on mail merge addresses. Yes. And then uh, we got 50 names on the list. Of course, if you had like 46, you could type 46. Uh, in this case, let's say 50. You have 46 on the list and you want to add four blanks. Let's say 46 uh, mail merge. And please do four blanks. That way, if you have to forget a couple or you got to handwrite a couple, uh, we can do four without the mail merge and just do the blanks, order 50, add it to the cart. And then when you get to the cart, you're just going to upload those two files. Um, I'm going to delete this one from a previous video. If you're a big subscriber, you've seen that one as well. Uh, so you got your envelopes, 50 of them. You're going to upload your spreadsheet and your uh, PDF file. And once that's in there, make sure it gets to 100% and completes. Once you see both your files, now you can uh, simply uh, check out online and pay for it, and you're good to go. And that is how you do a mail merge envelope order. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Or maybe not. Maybe this is the only time. Either way, thank you.